Hello, it's Ort Lexington here with a quick tutorial of how to make a mesh window and then put it into Second Life. So here's my Blender Mesh program. As you can see, it's the default cube. Press Tab to go from Object Mode to Edit Mode. and go to the x-axis on the there and go to zero. Swing around to the opposite side and select that and on the x-axis go minus point one. That gives you a ten centimeter wide slab. Press A to deselect and select everything. Then you go to the edge bits, the corners, the sides. And then you press E for extrude. Hold down shift press Z. Three times. I had to press it three times to get the X and the Y to show up. And then press S for scale. And you can drag out a frame around the slab. Press A to unselect all of that. Then down here, switch from faces to edges and select four edges on one side the four outer edges and then on the x-axis just add 10 centimeters by clicking the arrow once and press A to unselect everything and edges on the rear side and press minus on the X the minus arrow and then what we do is we go back into faces select each face on the edge and the sides Extrude, Shift Z, had to press it three times to get the X and the Y axis to show up, then scale, that pulls out of frame. It didn't pull out very well, did it? Let's undo that by pressing Ctrl Z and then go to Extrude, Shift Z, it's not working is it? So we go Y and then hold down Shift and press X at the same time. better than scale. Now I was doing something wrong there. I was confusing the x-axis with the z-axis, the red with the blue. Anyway, there's our window with a nice frame. Select vertices down here. And we select the inner vertices for the inside, for the edges of the actual window, not the frame.
see which folder is easily selected. Then press the F key to fill that in. And do the same for all four edges to the actual window plane of, pane of glass. Normally you wouldn't put faces inside a mesh, but since this is glass we're going to need them later. Ok, now we're going to face mode, and by the dot you can see that it did successfully fill the faces. So we've got mesh display on normals, the faces tab. And you should be able to see that the little blue line shows which direction the faces aimed. And this one seems to be aimed the wrong way round. This face. Let's check the others. Little blue lines. Ah, this one on the bottom is the wrong way around as well. Yeah, so, to get them facing the inwards rather than outwards, we go to flip direction. If we can find it, here it is. Direction. There we go. Press Z to go in up mode. A to deselect and Z to go out of the wireframe. Now we need to add a material. So we go to the materials tab. There's already one there. We just have to name it frame because it's going to be for the window frame. Changes came to frame. I hit the plus sign to so it shows that the frame has been created, the frame texture. Then we press go to the screen and press A to select everything, and then press the assign button. That assigns the material to every face. Now to change the colour, we go down to Diffuse, bring up the intensity to full, and make sure the white is on full. So now, our window should appear white when we press A. Press A, go into Texture Mode. And our window is white. This is texture mode, solid mode, texture mode. See? Now, what we do is we press Z to go into wireframe mode. We select those inner surfaces that we created earlier. Now we need to apply a material to these, so we have to create a new material, give it a name, we'll call it Glass Edge. Press the plus to make Q2 usable. 
and assign so that it's now assigned to the four selecting faces. Then we go to the color menu, intensity four, change the color to a glass color, which in my opinion would be blue. Let's go out and work for a mode. Into texture mode and look inside the mesh you can put away inside it. You can see the blue, which is the glasses, which is the edge of the glass. Now, what we do is we press A to unselect that. And we select the back, the actual front of the glass, and the back of the glass. Press the plus button to add a new material. Give this new material a name. We call it transparency. Forget my spell. If that's wrong. And press the plus button to add it. Then we go to intensity to full, change the color to blue, and then we click on the transparency tab, go down to where it says alpha, go to 0.25. finished window. Now if we press 0, we can see what it would look like from a camera's perspective. It's nicely lined up within the, within the camera's frame, field of vision. So we go out from 0 and we press F12 to render and there it is. As you can see, the glass is transparent with a little blue edging to it. Press F11 to come out of the render. Press Tab to go from edit mode to object mode. And with the object still selected, Export Color. Then we find a place to export it to. And we give it a title. We call it Window. So I'll just put dot. Is it D E A? I think it is. And export. No need to worry about physics shape for this because it's a very simple little window. Anyway, now we go to the second line. Build menu. Upload model. Where we store the model, and it appears in the second line edges, textures, a name. <laughs>
Materials tab, Fluid Textures, go to the Physics tab, choose a physics from a file, browse, and since I didn't create a specific physics shape for this, I'm going to use its self as its physics shape. So it's the same file that I'm uploading that I'm also going to use for the physics shape. And liars. Calculate weights and fees. Thirteen million dollars. One prim land impact. Or sell it to one prim. Press upload. Paid thirteen to upload that. Edit textures, select faces. Well, since we've got free materials on this model, that means it has free faces. One material is the frame, the other material is the edge of the glass, and the third material is the plane of the glass. So we click on the plane of the glass. That's the face we want. And we have to make it transparent. Let's go to about 50 transparency. There, that should be enough. As you can see, it's gone transparent. So now we take it back into our inventory to make sure that it's saved properly and drag it out again. Give it a moment to load up. of detail on this isn't very good, that's why you can't see it till you get close. And it's a nice solid window. You've got the frame, you've got the glass edge, and Let's change the color of the frame, I suppose, to a more wood like color brown. That brown's a bit too dark. Also change the edge of the glass, the blue bit, but that's a bit more tricky because you have to cam into the model to do it. And then select its face. Let's change. 
change it to red just because red is faster it's the fastest color you can barely see it through the green but it's there anyway you can do anything you like with it now you can alter its size The reason that de you lose detail as you move away from it is because I didn't specify the level of detail for the model. Windows with piss poor. 